Hi everyone, this is Di from The Messy Palette and next week I am going to start a series on my YouTube channel and it will be making a ocean themed mermaid style journal in a box. Something a little bit different, a little bit of a hybrid of journaling and album making and I thought I would come on here and give you a heads up that this will start next week. So if you want to follow along and craft along, you can pop over to my YouTube and push notifications so you don't miss anything. So what I'm going to do today is show you a few things that you can use in this journal. By no means do I expect you to have all this stuff. I have been arting and collecting for a lot of years. But this is stuff that you can find at the op shop, um, at the cheap shop. And I will mention that as we go through and I show you a few bits and pieces. Okay, let's get started with some fibre. So this is stuff that I bought online and it's a little bit of a mm, seaweedy, leafy type tulle mesh with a embroider type thing this was three dollars i think for the whole roll um from i think aliexpress um so that can be used for a lot of things in tags and to give you some texture in backgrounds and all sorts of stuff Oops, sorry about that. This is a roll of, um, oh my goodness, burlap in the paler colour. Um, so this was probably the most expensive. I think it cost me $12 at Spotlight. And that will be another thing for texture and layers and pulling it apart for strings and things so that's another thing that would probably be the most expensive thing I have here this is some glittery I don't even know what in organza type fabric this was from a dress up section at the op shop and it cost me 20 cents um, which I cut up into pieces um, same with this piece. This was off a Elsa costume that was at the op shop um, and the whole costume I think cost me 50 cents. But the fabric is great. Um, this was a piece I bought from Spotlight which is a haberdashery. I presume it would be similar to your Joanne's. In America that's a spotlight here in Australia and this piece cost me from the um, bargain bin section um, I think it was four dollars a meter and I got half a meter so it cost me two dollars um, this is just cheesecloth from the cheap shop which is two dollars and every time I've made something Every time I make something with ink, um, I have a roll of this sitting next to my desk and I mop up the ink with it in the colours that I want. So I have whole sections of colours in different Ziploc bags. So I just tear off strips, cut off strips, and then I dip it into the inks and I end up with this yumminess all ready to make a beautiful journal with oh that's a piece of sari silk um, so that's cheesecloth um, eyelash trim you can buy this for 20 cents a roll sometimes 50 cents a ball at the op shop and you just collect and put them in their groups um, there's so many different ones and they're all really really cool really cool so I just group them into whatever color journal that I'm about to make I pull all this stuff into what I call my shopping bag and um, 
then I don't have to rummage through all of my colours to find all the blues. Um, what next? This little roll of, I don't even know what it is, it's like reed, woven reed. It came into the op shop and it cost me 20 cents. So op shop is thrift shop, so if you're not quite sure. Um, you can't always find stuff like this, but you can pull apart old baskets and um, serving trays and rattan stuff to get this. And it's like people throw it away all the time. Um, this stuff here was from the $2 shop and it was um, a, fly, a door fly screen with lots of things on it and I just cut the runs off and I've got all of this and it came in lots of different colours it was a multicolour strand and I think it cost when I say two dollar shop cheap shop I think it cost about four dollars for the whole fly screen hangy thing whatever you want to call it um this was gifted to me, so I can't tell you where it's from, um, but I presume you would be able to get it on Amazon or something, and it's a mesh with a bit of sparkle in it, so that would be cool as well. Um, this is scary mesh from the $2 shop that you do for Halloween. This makes great netting texture. You can paint it. You can ink it. It comes in black, grey and white. So you can do whatever you want to do with this. And it's great for all of pulling fibres. And the net is really loosely woven as opposed to the cheesecloth, which is tighter. That's really cool. This piece of bird net mesh came from a garage sale and I got a whole box of it for a dollar, I think. Um, and this is all I have left. So I've, <laughs> I've used it a lot over the years in my mixed media art. Um, but it's perfect for an ocean journal. Really cool. So you have to think outside of the box when you try and find something. These were um, the little lays we got when we went to an island for a wedding of a, um, our daughter. And they gave it to us and I just collected it off everybody who didn't want them anymore. And they can be used for tags and dangles and all sorts of stuff. Um, the old jute. Um, this is uh, silk tops that I use in felting and you can just pull pieces of this off and lay it out. It makes great seaweed in amongst other fibres, which is really cool. So that's the silk. Um, this is just uh, a linen type fabric that I've ripped up into shreds. And you can rip it down more easy. They were sheets, I think, or something like that. Um, these were from the cheap shop in the craft aisle. They were $2 a packet. They'll make great seaweed. And this is from the Christmas decorations. So you cut these little stars up. Snowflakes, I mean, so you just cut pieces off. I don't even know where my scissors are, so you can just and tuck them in under layers, and it looks a bit like seaweed. So, you know, think outside the box as well in this Christmas decorations. Um, some more fibers, these are all op shop finds um, you just cut them up and yeah, 
just all different ones. These were all thrifted. It's a roll of organza. Cost me four dollars, I think, at Spotlight. And it's just an organza ribbon, so you can just add it, add it to layers of different stuff to give you texture. Which is, that's pretty cool. Um, this is one I got from AliExpress, and it was three dollars, and it's just um crochet cotton with sequins on it which was another good texture and these are pearl edged ribbon and they're a wavy and I think they were $2 a metre and so they already have um, a bit of a wave in them so they'll make really good edges for pages nice and navy and this was in the Christmas aisle it's just a, like a little tinsel thing I don't know what you would call it um, I have also got some wood chip which I've just gessoed you don't have to have these. You can cut pictures out and gesso them. We're going to add paint and texture and um, silver um, wax or paint to these. Um, so these are just different ones you can you can buy on at most craft stores. So these are wood chip. This is a a mold that I have. Um, so that's just paper clay so it's nice and light so we can paint that up and put it on um, this is just to, to show you how to use some of the trims um, so you've got glazed glass balls and sticky back pearls and all the fabrics and trims and stuff so let's just something I made to show you um, this is the start of my cover that I'm doing so I've what I've done is I've just cut a piece of chipboard um, so my album is going to be nine by six and I've laid some of that um, scary fabric stuff the Halloween fabric um, down over tissues like blow your nose type tissues um, I've just scrunched it up glued it and then I've let it dry and then I've gessoed over the top of it so this is going to be stuck on top of my um, album when we make it um, what else have we got here so these are some of the papers that I've inked so these are just spray inks and water and I've just this is copy paper I have torn the edges by hand of each piece and I have sprayed onto my plastic table outside and dunked it in and turned it over and dunked it in and I don't know if you could see it but when they were all laid out drying I just sprayed some uh, shimmer mist over the top um, do I have it here? no what did I do with it? let's see if I can find it it wasn't very organised of me not to have it here Uh, so that's Luminart so that's from the art shop this one um, I think it was about six dollars for the bottle but that's got uh, mica tiny particles of mica in it and it leaves this beautiful 
shimmer on the paper. I don't know if that's getting picked up or not. But that takes a little bit of time. So when you're sitting down watching television, you can tear your papers and then lay them out and um, ink them on the table all at once. But it's very effective. Very effective. So I've done some whole inked ones and then I did a heap that I just basically held it like this and dunked the edges in. So they will be my signatures. Um, these ones are just plain. I haven't done anything to them yet. Um, just folded some papers. So they will be other techniques we put into those ones. Um, so I have some texture paste, coloured texture paste to put through some stencils. I have um, some inks to do the rest of those pages. You don't need to have all this stuff. You can just use... Um, just use your distress inks or you can use um, textures anything you can get color down onto and add water to to get it to mix up um, you can use paint watered down paint to do all those sort of things so I've just got some inks and I've got some of these um, gel medium you will need to put down some of the metal embellishments that we'll be using I have got a collection of beads so these are all just seed beads I just sit down and get out little beads and I pop them onto eye pins and stick pins and ball pins and I'll just show you a few and these will hang off of um, charms, off of um, tabs and fabrics and everything that are at the bottom and the sides of the journal as we go. So just little single ones. These are just like little seed beads, just one little seed bead. But yeah, they've have a cool effect and they cost nothing for seed beads and I think you get a hundred little pins eye pins or ball pins or anything like that for under two dollars and just sit there one night and I just did all of them just grabbed a handful of beads and that's what I came up with um, these little starfish were in my hair when I got married um, these were thrifted from the op shop and repurposed just bits and pieces like shells and this was a piece that a girlfriend made another artist and she gave it to me as a necklace well I think I'll incorporate that so when you're looking at things look at necklaces and things that you can take apart um just sticking a charm on a paper clip, um, all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, that's about it. That's what we're going to start with. We'll use um, copy paper, we will use cardstock, we will use chipboard um, to make the covers with. Now, we're going to make a box and it'll be a treasure chest. And when you open it, that's when you'll find the um, the journal will be inside the treasure chest. Um, so I hope you follow along. I hope you pop over to my YouTube channel and like, subscribe, um, click the notifications so you know when I am popping on with a new part of this tutorial. And we will make this together from the start to the finish. Um, including this bit that I've already started which I have filmed and will go into the playlist. I'll pop all of them into a playlist so that you can find them easily and I think that's about it for now. Um, hope to see you next week when we start all this 
yumminess. Thank you. Bye-bye.